So I have to I need I have I need I have to recreate my birthday dress that I made this year, which is this dress in five days. So today is Wednesday and I need to get this dress shipped on Monday. So I need to finish it in less than five days basically because my weekends are obviously just me staying home and crocheting so i work seven days in the week um but i got everything i need i think i got everything i need so i am going to go ahead and get started with the dress and i'll take you guys along and see if i can actually finish this dress before the end of the week so i actually need to make two of this dress but again this is the one that came in first so i need to finish this one before i get started with the other dress so i have decided to go with this color for the waist for the corset part of the dress because mine i went in for this um what color is this brown light brown kind of thing but i think this one goes perfect with it i just need, still need to confirm if this is what she wants um so i will be using this for the corset and this is going to be for the rest of the dress i have six ball of these which i am not i'm not really sure if it's enough so i'll probably need to go tomorrow and see if i can get two or three more balls of it and one ball is actually a total of one 125 gram and again this is a 50 percent acrylic and 50 percent polyester yarn and this is a 100 percent acrylic yarn so i am going to get started with the waistband and see if I, I can actually get the waistband i think i can get the waistband done today i'm just hoping i can get the actual upper part of the body done by tomorrow because i want to work the upper part and then the lower part afterwards so let's get right into it the next day i love the weather this morning no no money it's past 12 but i love the weather today so i am going to go out and crochet yes we are going to station to the station sit in the cafe or sit out no i think I'll, this the sun is coming up but i'm still guessing it's gonna be cold but we are going to sit in the cafe because then we can see people and people can see us and i'll look smart while i'm crocheting but again i'm not really that smart so before i leave for the cafe i feel like i owe you guys an update an update um while i was about to start working on the the dress with the purple i got a message that she decided to go with my own original pattern of color like the the pattern i made the first time the same yarn she said she wants to go for the same yarn so i had to switch and but then instead of the light corset light corset pattern she wants a dark brown so i since yesterday i've been working on a dark brown corset and it's taking longer than i expect and i think the reason is because i'm using 1.6 millimeter crochet hook very very tiny but i'm not i'm not even mad because you need to see the stretch let me take it so this is what the corset is looking like a bit funny i would say but let me see if i can give you guys a vi visual visual 
look of how we actually should be looking so this is what it should be looking like i still have to do a little bit of deep facing before i get to do the back part of the corset again i'm not really pleased i thought i was going to be able to finish this yesterday but i'm using a small crochet a small crochet hook so i'm not really pleased and it's really stretchy and i love the way it's coming out so i am just gonna sit away and crochet my fingers away today i was actually hoping to finish the upper part of the sweater this dress today but i think that's mission impossible i don't think i'll be able to finish it by today but again again it's a lot of pressure to try to finish a whole dress in five days especially that i'm using a small crochet hook so i'm not going to be so hard on myself i'm just going to try and push myself but at the same time not be too hard on myself Because of the weather switch, I couldn't go to the cafe anymore and this is just me warming my foot on my heater and just relaxing my back because I cannot come and kill myself. And then a few minutes later, it started raining. This is the weather we have in this place. It's so unreliable. Hello, so it's been a couple of days, so I just thought it was right for me to come on and give, a, give you guys an update because I've been working on the dress non-stop, like I, I didn't even switch to another project, that's how dedicated I am. Well, I should be dedicated because I need to get this done. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have going on. So again, i thought i was gonna going to be way further than i am right now on this dress but i'm not and i'm not like going to be too hard on myself because i have been having finger aches so like especially this finger it has been doing anyhow so i don't want to push myself to a level where i get not to be able to crochet for weeks and i have others that i need to work on after this so i don't want to do too much so i i um i've been taking a few breaks in between me working on the dress i haven't switched to any other project which is good because the, the moment you switch to another project you want to finish the other one instead of this one so i haven't i have just been taking a few breaks like a few hours i wouldn't crochet and then i'll come back to the dress like i'm not working on the dress like eight hours straight or like consistently for a few hours you know so yeah but let me show you guys what it looks like so again, I said I was going to get the upper part of the dress done before starting with the lower. As you can see, I already have the upper part complete. Um, I don't know, but for some reason, when I made mine, mine was a bit too tight. I said that was because i was bloated i used to think it was because i was bloated but while working on this dress then i realized that i did make mine a little too smaller than my size so that's the reason why it couldn't like fit me the way i pictured it too so while i was working on this dress then i really realized that the measurement that i used for my the first design was just a bit too far for my well a bit too small for my for my own size so this is a bit bigger than my size but it just made me realize um with the way it looks that mine was a bit too small for me that's the reason it didn't fit not because i was bloated or anything hello so i forgot that i was vlogging and i'm actually at the final stages the final final step of finishing the dress i still need to do oh i already finished the split let me show you guys so I, I've done the split, which is this end. So now I'm just going to do the final length, which is at 20 inches. And that is about 60 rows, which is a lot. 60 rows is a lot. But again, I just wanted to show you guys what the dress looks like. This is not a tutorial. Again, I just wanted to take you guys along the process of me working on my one of my special, special designs.
next day and it's review time. So, I finished the dress yesterday, so I cannot wait to show you guys. But first, I think it's only fair for me to actually wear the original design so you can actually see what it should look like. And then I show you guys the custom order as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and put on the original design and then I'll come back and show you guys everything. Introducing one of my favorite design guys. This is the dress. So the first time I actually wore this dress, it was a bit too tight, like I mentioned. But again today, it fits so well and so good. Can we get into the details so you can see? I do have like a little design going on right at the corset part. So I did not do that for the custom piece because she told me not to. But I just love the fitting and how it looks. And can we take a moment for the skin? And this is how the back looks. Very, very beautiful. And it has a lace-up thing going on. And I love it. I love it. I love it. So, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I love how this dress came out. I think the dark brown really just adds up with a little spice to the old design itself and if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to join the family and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video ciao ciao